Hello, and welcome to the International Quilt Museum's Virtual First Friday Fun. I'm Lauren Holt, Education Coordinator at the museum, and today I'm going to be talking about prints and printmaking techniques, and at the end of the video, I'll show you one way that you can make prints on paper at home. Printing on fabric is a way to create patterned cloth. It is distinct from dyeing cloth in that the dyeing process generally refers to the cloth being uniformly covered in the color. The many different methods of printing allow textile makers and artists to create any design or pattern they choose, bringing new meanings to fabrics. There are four main methods of textile printing, block, roller, screen, and heat transfer. For this video, we will be focusing primarily on block printing techniques. Block printing is a type of fabric printing that is done by hand. Evidence of block printing on fabric can be found in many cultures, and some of the best known examples are from India, where historians have found printing artifacts that date back to the 4th century BCE. Many historic prints have been traced specifically to Gujarat, India, where printing traditions still continue today. Block printing is traditionally done with carved wooden blocks. The design is hand carved into the wood so that the areas that are not carved are the portion that accepts the dye. For fine detail, thin metal strips and studs can be added to the carved wooden block. When the blocks are ready, the dye paste is applied to it. The dye and wood block are then pressed onto the fabric to create the print design, repeated for the full length and width of the fabric. The printmakers have to be very precise with where they place the dye to make sure the pattern is consistent some designs might be only one block with one color, while others will require many blocks, each carved for a different part of the design and applied to the cloth at a different time to create a mini colored print. This printed and quilted hat, likely made in Persia around 1850, is made from a type of printed fabric called cotton chintz. This style of fabric originated in India in the 16th century and quickly became a very popular trade item for European nations. The most common traditional chintz designs depicted natural motifs like flowering trees and paisleys, which are believed to be highly stylized pine cones. For this type of block print design, one block with one color of dye would be used all over the fabric, followed by the second color, and so on until the pattern was complete. Chintz from India was so popular in the late 17th century that the fabric was banned in England and France for a time, while European textile mills learned how to make their own versions of the fabric. The fabric in this quilt from West Bengal, India, was made using a block printing technique with a resist dye method. To create this type of blue and white design on the fabric, a dye-resistant paste would have been put on the print block and then applied to the fabric in the places that are still white. After the resist pattern was added, the cloth would have been immersed in an indigo dye bath, turning all the rest of the fabric blue. Another type of wood block printing is reduction wood block printing. In reduction printing, the same block is used to print all the colors of the design, from lightest to darkest. After each color layer, more of the wood block is carved away so that the darker ink does not get into the space where the lighter color should show up. In this process, only one block of wood is needed, but because the block is continuously carved, the number of prints that can be made is limited. Artist, educator, and quilt maker Anne Burton works with both fabric and paper in her art and creates her own prints on both. She uses reduction wood block printing in her work. In her artist statement, she says, I gravitate to print because of its historical associations with communication, social engagement, and reiteration. Her work often features many different prints in many colors, layered and combined in patchwork-like patterns. In an interview with reflectionsoncolor.com, she said, printmaking can create color that has depth and flatness at the same time. The color can be inside of the paper but also create the illusion of real space. There are many other types of printmaking techniques, some of which are used on fabric and appear in quilts. Like woodblock printing, copper plate printing involves the design being cut into the base material. 
In the case of copper, the design might be cut in or etched with acid. Some designs may be drawn with a pointed metal tool to create thin lines. The main difference between this style of printing, called intaglio, and block printing is that the ink is held in the areas that are carved away, not the areas that are left after carving, making this style of printmaking better suited for line art designs. This quilt, called Square and Square, features patterned fabric on the top. The back of the quilt, however, is printed with indigo using a copper plate printing technique. This large-scale print dates to around 1765, significantly older than the fabrics on the top of the quilt, and it can be traced to a specific textile printing factory in England called Bromley Hall. The copper plate printing technique let the printmakers add many levels of detail to this fabric, including individual lines used to change the dark and light value of the ink. Lithography is a printing method traditionally done with limestone, where a design is drawn onto the stone with grease. Water is applied to the ungreased portion, and then oil-based ink, which sticks to the grease-painted design. Lithography is especially useful for depicting very fine levels of shading and detail. A variation of lithograph printing, photolithography, was used to create this fabric print of a photograph. The print method allowed for very thin lines to remain clear in the image. This photograph, an image of the maker, appears in the quilt My Crazy Dream, which is dated 1877 to 1912. Today, many artists use fabric printed photographs in their quilts. Monotypes are a printmaking method where the image to be printed is drawn on a non-porous surface so that the paint or ink will not be absorbed and then transferred to paper or fabric. Because there is no change made to the surface that holds the ink, only one of each print can be made. Even if the same image is drawn many times, each print will be slightly different. This is the type of print we will be making in today's challenge. There is a simple way that you can make your own monotype prints at home, using only a smooth surface plastic bag, like a reclosable sandwich bag, and paint or markers. You could use paper or fabric for this project. For this example, I have used blank paper cards and washable markers on a sandwich bag. Because I'm using washable markers, I'm not worried about my table getting dirty. If you use paint, you might want to use a table cover like newspaper. To make your print, draw your design on a plastic bag, then press it carefully onto your paper or cloth. Press, but don't smear it. This may take some trial and error as you figure out how much ink is needed and how fast you need to move so that the design doesn't dry too much. After one print, you can draw over the same design on your bag to repeat the print or try a new design. Patterns, swirls, lines, and original art can all be printed this way to make custom cards and decorations or to add special designs to any paper craft you like. We'd love to see your prints, and I hope you'll share your art with us in the comments below this video on Facebook or by tagging us at International Quilt Museum on Instagram. If you're interested, you can learn more about some of the quilts in this presentation in our current and upcoming exhibitions. Anne Burton's work, Paper, Fabric, and Flesh, is on display in the Pumphrey Gallery through May 14, 2022. My Crazy Dream and the Square and Square Quilt are part of the Jane's Collection 25th Anniversary Exhibition and Evolving Vision Classics, which is on display from March 4th through October 12, 2022. The Chintz Printed Hat will be part of an Evolving Vision New Horizons on display from April 29th through October 29th 2022. You can also learn more about resist dyeing techniques in another First Friday video, Resist Dyeing Around the World, linked in the description or available in the First Friday Fun playlist on Facebook and YouTube. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and thank you for joining us for First Friday Fun.